Beautiful Wyoming is really an off with climbers dream or worst nightmare, depending on your perspective. You're not gonna have fun climbing. You might think you're sort of having fun off the roofs, but not on them. You hyperventilate, you vomit, you curl up in a little ball and cry. It's full battle in Beautiful. It's a it's a different deal. Yeah, there's nothing like View to View. It's granite domes, they're short. The granite is really sharp, so it's sort of the blue-collar grovel mecca, I'd say. There's a fantastic off with bouldering circuit in View to View. We're looking at Life Without Parole, one of the most classic Bob Scarpelli invert bouldering problems in View to View. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> One of the more interesting characteristics of the offlets in Vitavu are they're wildly flared. So it requires real technical offlet wizardry <laughs> to get up these climbs. Pam is like always full of energy. Today it's looking 5'8". <laughs> she is psyched to get on everything hard out here. I'm uh, Pamela Shanti Pack. I've been climbing off widths for about seven years. I started in Vitavu. I sucked then. Still do. Come back to Vitavu and realize how bad of a climber you are. It's humbling. It's why we come back here. <laughs> to remind ourselves we can't climb flared off widths. Off widths. weather moves in here really fast. I mean, you, these are 30 foot pitches. You can be 15 feet up in the sun. 20 feet up, you're in a lightning storm. We just logged all our shit up here. No, the heavens are opening up on us. Pretty epic, John. <laughs> I was really relieved it came through and almost killed us all because I almost got out of climbing Whipping Boy today. Right? That's like the happiest I've seen you all day. <laughs> Yay! The Whipping Boy starts with about a 30-foot chimney that you have to do run out. You can't put any gear in it at all. You have to solo it. And it's a really slippery chimney, so it's kind of scary. and then crawl out a partially inverted tight six inch roof, which is brutal because you're arm barring through a roof and if you fall out of it, you land on your side on a slab. Yeah, we're heading up to the roof ranch. This is one of the steepest areas in Vitavu, and Vitavu is all about physical climbing. It's not this prissy limestone stuff. When a wide crack gets to 45 degrees, there's no other way to climb it aside from inverting. Your head doesn't fit in there, your chest doesn't fit in there, your hips don't fit in there, but your feet fit in there. You're kicking your feet above your head. People are somersaulting through these things. There we go. There's circus tricks galore here in Vitavu. Try bouncing in the middle. I'd seen a picture of an unknown project, an alpinist, Bob Scarpelli and Pete Decada were working on it, and I got pretty obsessed. We're at the base of spatial relations in Beauty, Wyoming. 
exciting because I got knocked unconscious one of my early attempts on it. I'm gonna not repeat that today. <laughs> yeah. But the start is flared hands to flared fingers to one of the weirdest off-road moves. Jam your head in the, in the roof, and it hurt. <laughs> and then you stack in back of your head and uh, hand fist stack and invert off that hand fist stack. That's where things get kind of serious, and you have to keep bumping your feet up until you can get to the pivot. It's really physically demanding. Once you start the pivot, you're committed. Falling out of it's a really bad idea. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> my eye, <laughs> my soul. I was psyched, super psyched.